morning, Stretton Festival box office. How can I help you? Oh, hello. My family and I are on holiday in the area, and we've seen some posters about the festival this week. Could you tell me about some of the events, please? Of course. First of all, are there still tickets available for the jazz band on Saturday? There are, but only fifteen pounds. The twelve pounds seats have all been sold. Okay, and the venue is the school, isn't it? Yes, that's right. The secondary school. Make sure you don't go to the primary school by mistake. And there's an additional performer who isn't mentioned on the posters. Carolyn Hart is going to play with the band. Oh, I think I've heard her on the radio. Doesn't she play the oboe or flutes or something? Yes, the flute. She usually plays with symphony orchestras, and apparently this is her first time with a jazz band. Well, I'd certainly like to hear her. Then the next thing I want to ask about is the duck races. I saw a poster beside a river. What are they exactly? Well, you buy a yellow plastic duck, or as many as you like. They're a pound each, and you write your name on each one. There'll be several races. Depending on the number of ducks taking part, and John Stevens, a champion swimmer who lives locally, is going to start the races. All the ducks will be launched into the river at the back of the cinema. Then they'll float along the river for 500 meters, as far as the railway bridge. And are there any prizes? Yes, the first duck in each race to arrive at the finishing line wins its owner free tickets for the concert on the last night of the festival. You said you can buy a duck. I'm sure my children will both want one. They're on sale at a stall in the market. You can't miss it. It's got an enormous sign showing a couple of ducks. Okay, I'll go there this afternoon. I remember walking past there yesterday. Now, could you tell me something about the flower show, please? Well, admission is free, and the show is being held in Bythewaite Hall. Sorry, how do you spell that? B Y T H, W A I, T E, Bythewait. Is it easy to find? I'm not very familiar with the town yet. Oh, you won't have any problem. It's right in the centre of Stretton. It's the only old building in the town, so it's easy to recognise. I know it. I presume it's open all day. Yes, but if you'd like to see the prizes being awarded for the best flowers. You'll need to be there at five o'clock. The prizes are being given by a famous actor, Kevin Shapless. He lives nearby and gets involved in a lot of community events. Gosh, I've seen him on TV. I'll definitely go to the prize giving. Right.、I've、seen a list of plays that are being performed this week, and I'd like to know which are suitable for my children and which ones my husband and I might go to. How old are your children? Five and seven. What about the mystery of Muldoon? That's aimed at five to ten-year-olds. So if I take my children, I can expect them to enjoy it more than I do. I think so. If you'd like something for yourself and your husband, and leave your children with a babysitter, you might like to see Fire and Flood. It's about events that really happened in Stretton two hundred years ago, and children might find it rather frightening. Oh, thanks for the warning. And finally, what about Silly Sailor? <laughs> That's a comedy. And it's for young and old. In fact, it won an award in the Stretton Drama Festival a couple of months ago. Okay. Well, goodbye and thanks for all the information. I'm looking forward to the festival. Goodbye.